So this is a course on geometry of curves and surfaces. Of curves and surfaces. So the idea of curves you already have in your earlier classes you learned the curves in plane. So when we talk of curves uh, in a plane you realize them as uh, uh, these curves are obtained whenever you have in xy plane the xy coordinates are implicitly or explicitly related among themselves. For example, if you consider the equation y equal to 2x plus 1 or you write down y equal to x square or x square plus y square or I can say y equal to plus minus 1 minus x square. This is one set of equations and here you see that y is explicitly related with x. So we call them ex, uh, explicit equations of a curve in a plane. Similarly, I can write down some implicit relation between x and y like this 2x minus y plus 1 equal to 0 and here I can write down x square minus y equal to 0 here I can write down x square plus y square minus 1 equal to 0. The first set of equations you can call them as explicit equations. So these are explicit equations and the second set of equation is the set of implicit equations. You know these equations represent curve in a plane, in a xy plane R2. Now if you look at the first set of equation, uh, you will notice that curves are obtained uh, through real valued functions of a real variable. So in general, if you consider real valued functions, of a real variable like this say f from some interval a b into r or symbolically I can say y equal to f with x lying between a and b. Now this equation if I call it number 1 this will uh, represent a curve in a plane. In fact the graph of this function f which is given by this set of all points x fx in R2. such that x, uh, x lies between a and b. Now this set of points in a plane you may call as a curve. So a curve is represented by an uh, equation of this type which is an explicit equation in x and y it is obtained with the help of a real valued function of a real variable. You see if I consider a point x naught in the interval a b its image f x naught which you may call as y naught is a real number ok it is a real number. So this value y naught this number y naught is called the value of the function at the point x naught and that is the reason we say 
that f is a real valued function on an interval a b or a real variable is a function a uh, real valued function of a real variable all right uh, now you can also notice uh, the second set of equations here we have written down the same equation in this form so i can also say that a function of two variable where f x y equal to constant also represents a curve in a plane so this is an implicit equation so in general an implicit equation in two variable would look like this this is an implicit equation of a curve in two variable <coughs> okay all right you may call it equation number 2 this is the question that i will be leaving for you is it possible that every time can you convert a implicit equation into explicit form or explicit into implicit form okay so this is the question that i will be leaving you for to think over so the question is can we always convert can we always convert an implicit equation implicit equation into explicit form or vice versa so this is something which you already know in fact you know many more thing about uh, these uh, curves in plane uh, in fact you know the whole lot of calculus of these uh, real valued function of real variable uh, in fact the story of calculus starts when you consider function from r to r so if you have in general a function from r to r you can think of its derivative at a point x not uh, by the derivative f dash at a point x not is in fact the limit of this quotient f of x not plus h minus f of x not upon h where h tends to zero if the limit of the quotient in the right side exists we say the derivative of the function exists at a point x not and this this limit is called the derivative of the function well you can notice that this quantity is actually the slope of the tangent to the graph of the function f y equal to fx if you draw the graph then this quantity will be the slope of the tangent to the graph of the graph so geometrically f dash x not is the slope of the tangent to the graph of f at x not these facts are very well known uh, and this in other words says that whenever a, a, the, the, uh, if the derivative uh, if the tangent can be drawn onto the curve the derivative exists 
and the other way around. So existence of derivative is ensured by the existence of tangent to the graph of the function. <coughs> All right. Up till here, can you check whether the recording is okay?